and welcome to Powerful Prevention for Parents in Three, where we will tackle important topics in substance use prevention in three minutes. Here at Karen Treatment Center's Education Alliance, we know the best time to stop substance use is before it starts. My name is Erica Young, and I will be talking about refusal skills that can help make sure your student is never caught off guard if offered any substances. Anyone remember the phrase, just say no? I mean, Nancy Reagan meant well and all, but geez, did she really think kids would emphatically just say no when offered drugs and alcohol? It may not have been exactly the best advice, but Nancy was on to something. Preparing our kids with refusal skills before heading out with friends or into unknown situations can be incredibly helpful. Kids use substances for so many reasons. The days of assuming certain kind of kids are the only ones using in their school are long gone. Not that those stereotypes were very reliable anyway. The multitude of reasons that kids may try or use substances these days are vast. However, that first time they are asked to try or offered substances is critical. The first time they decide to try something, it's typically because they don't know how to get out of that situation in a way that saves face. I encourage parents to have a conversation before your student heads out for the evening. Get in front of it and prepare your child for the possibility. Not sure what to say? Let's discuss some options. Blame me. Have your child use you as their excuse. Have them say something like, my mom has been on my case so much lately and I know she will be waiting up for me tonight. If she even suspects I did something, I will not be seeing the light of day for a while. Go ahead and give them permission to make it sound like you are the most overbearing parent in the world. If it keeps them safe another day, wear the title proudly. It also lets other kids know you are not the parent to mess with. Ha ha, win win. Connect it to their interests, whether your child plays sports, is a musician, or has a job. Have them craft an excuse around their obligations. I'm gonna have to pass, I have to get up early for work tomorrow, or I have practice in the morning, so I really can't tonight. They can play sick. Pretending they don't feel well can also work. I haven't felt right all day, I think I'm just gonna take it easy tonight, or I just took some medicine before I left because I felt sick earlier. I really shouldn't mix anything. Whatever it is you come up with, have the discussion together. Figure out what the excuse of the night is and then have them repeat it back to you. Do this so often that your child starts to tell you what they plan to say before you even bring it up. You know the message is getting through when they start to think of it on their own. Eventually, their friends will get the hint and stop asking, but it's done in a way that allows everyone in that situation to save face. Hopefully, your child is never put in a situation where they need refusal skills. Unfortunately, it is not always avoidable. However, not knowing what to do or say when faced with the situation really leaves your kid vulnerable. So let's prepare them before it starts. When we know better, we do better. And now you know. Thanks for listening.